Why is Botox more challenging in the older patient? Let me bring Taylor. So in the older patient, what happens is, is that they really need their forehead muscle to lift up their brows. So if I do too much Botox in the frontalis or the forehead, there's nothing left to actually lift Taylor's eyebrow up. So I will actually assess the client, get them to look angry, get them to lift up. I'll get them to close their eyes and quickly open. If I see them engaging their forehead as they're opening their eyes, I don't touch the forehead at all. When clients first come to me and we start aging together, they may get Botox or a neuromodulator in their forehead, but with time, if I'm finding that they're getting that heavier look, I will actually refrain from injecting that forehead, waiting two weeks, have them come back, reassess, and nine times out of 10, I won't inject their forehead. There's a lot of anatomical changes that are happening in women or men as they get older, and they need that muscle to keep their eyes up.